spots are red and yellow. That means we're getting some delays between 234 and 123. 10 mile distance taking you about 17 minutes. How are speeds about in the 30s? But right here it's its toughest of that stretch I just explained right near the Prince William Parkway where speeds are almost stop and go in some of those lanes, but the average is about 18 miles per hour. I'll show you some other areas that are slowing and when I'm back in less than seven minutes with traffic and weather together. Britt, thank you. Just eight days after winning re-election to DC's council, Trayon White will face a judge this morning. The embattled councilman is facing a federal bribery charge. And he'll be represented by federal public defenders following a shakeup in his defense team late last month. 7 News' John Gonzalez is in the district with what White told 7 News as he returned to the council's chamber room for the first time. John, good morning. Hey, Adriana, good morning. That's right. The D.C. Council met yesterday to discuss overhauling the city's youth rehabilitation agency, and that hearing marked the first time Council Member Trayon White has stepped into this building, Wilson Building, City Hall, since August when he was arrested. Well, he was recently also stripped of his leadership of this very committee that met. His decisive win on election night came less than three months after he was arrested by the FBI. The U.S. Attorney's Office alleges White agreed to accept $156,000 to steer city contracts toward specific businesses. White spoke to 7 News as he took his council seat. He only spoke about the agenda at hand. What we are deciding is where to house this legislation to make sure it's fully funded. The mayor does not support this. We believe at the council we need more eyes and ears on DYRS uh, because of the many issues we've had over the years. Now in that status hearing, it's unclear this morning if he will face the judge in person or if he will be virtual. His trial is set to begin sometime next spring or summer. As for election night, he earned 84% of the vote, taking on Republican challenger Nate Derenge. Reporting live, John Gonzalez, 7 News. John, thank you. Now, 7 News has been staying on top of Trayon White's bribery case since he was arrested by the FBI back in August. You can find all of our reporting right now on WJLA.com. And make sure you stick with 7 News today for coverage of today's status hearing in the case.